<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And today I'll be doing and showing you guys how to get the homebrew channel on Wii without any SD card or PC required. Uh, as you can see here, homebrew channel completely uh, downloaded and installed right here on the Wii. No PC or SD card required. So let's get right into it. So what you first want to do is click this circle, circular Wii options button. Go to Wii settings. go over to pa one page to internet and then to connection settings you're gonna, you're gonna want to go to whichever connection you're on which I'm using connection 3 go to change settings and scroll over to auto obtain DNS you're gonna press no go to advanced settings and here's what you're, what you're gonna want to put in Okay guys, you're gonna put this in. I know I sped over that just to make it a little bit quicker. But yes, you're gonna put this in. And for the secondary DNS, you're gonna wanna put in Okay, so when you put this in, I'll give it a minute so you guys can copy it down if you want to. Um, press confirm, save, and it's gonna initiate a connection test, which is fine. Okay guys, it took about 15, 20 seconds. Not a lot of time, so I'm gonna press a no because I'm already up to date. Oh yeah, make sure you're on uh, 4.3 version. Make sure you're on version 4.3. You need to. You, I think you have to do it, so that's fine. So, now, so anyway, now you're going to go back and then go to user agreements, and it's gonna ask you if you would like to use a Wii Shop channel and Wii Connect 24. It's like yes, and then the process will get started. So now this will take you into. You must review the user agreements before using Wii Networks. Now before I do this. Um, if you were to do this without putting in the custom DNS, it would just bring up some Wii, like, um, file paperwork looking thing, but w when you do this, this allows you to hack the Wii with, like, some kind of, like, I don't, I don't really know. Okay, here we go. So, that loaded pretty quick. I was going to perform a speech for a second, but yeah, so you're going to wait on the screen. It says, please wait. This will take one to two minutes. For me, I think it took around one minute. I don't know how long it took me, but I'm going to skip over this, and I'll tell you how long it took me, um, after it's done, so... And remember, also, before I go on, do not press I accept or I do not accept. Don't press either of these buttons. Just let it wait, and everything will be good. You're not supposed to press anything. Otherwise, I don't remember what happens, but sometimes. And also, make sure your um, Wii cursor doesn't freeze up. Otherwise, that means it will be it's not working. So just wait on the screen for a while, and then eventually it should load. Okay, guys, this is all completely okay. Every, everything is fine. It is just um, booting up the code to go into the hack me. So this may take a little bit. Shouldn't take too long, though. Okay, guys, don't worry. Sorry. I left for a second while I was like, don't worry, everything is okay. That, that's meant to happen. That is what, what should happen on your TV or whatever you're using. That is all good. So now it says, this software must not be sold, neither alone nor as part of a bundle. If you pay for this software or received it as part of a bundle, following payment, you've been scammed and should demand your money back immediately. Basically what that means is, if you pay for this, you should know because this should be free and you shouldn't have paid for this in any way. And so now if you just wait on the screen, wait till it says press 1 to continue. Or two, whichever button it is, and then you will be good. Should be okay, here we go. All right, press one to continue. And now it will bring up this screen. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to move with the um. I think it's okay. So you press A to continue, and you move with the um D-pad up to up, you know. And so you will install the Homebrew channel, which I already did. And then there's an uninstall option. So if you are just going on this, because I've, as you can see, I've already installed it. So you press install and then it'll install the homebrew channel. So no, take me back. And then I'll press exit. And then um, it's going to flushing log file, whatever that means. And you can press um, exit. And then it will exit back to the Wii menu. I believe. Oh, nope, the homebrew channel. Yeah. 
and it takes you right back to homebrew channel and once you press install and it installs it it will take you back to this screen which is the homebrew channel screen now it won't have any um applications on it you have to download those separately because that is um required with the sd card so yeah this is just a download the uh homebrew channel by itself so you press plus i mean the not plus the home button and you go to exit system menu and it will take you back to the wii home screen so yeah there you go we're back so yeah uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks for watching bye